this is Gold TV. My name is Hunter Fred. We are live, I'm taking a live coverage from Antio BI uh, Christmas Convention. And I'm here with uh, our dearest brother, and Andrew. He's here to share with us what he understands about Christmas. Christmas is actually how God became man and how he was born under the law that through him salvation will come to go. That's what Christmas is. And then, um, how has uh, Christmas affected the totality of your lives? Christmas has affected me in a way that I know that the Savior was born, who came to save me from sin. But the whole world has one big problem, no financial problem, no material problem. So if God to look inside himself and come down himself to save me out of that wretched situation, it made me value this mass of much and much every year. Yeah, that is uh, our dear uh, that, that he valued Christmas because it has actually affected him positively in his uh, sphere of life. Uh, what are some of the challenges you face since you, you became a Christian? Uh, the challenges are well, I try in my human way to stay out of sin, but I couldn't. But the Holy Spirit always helped me to be on track. Secondly, uh, the more I feel like God is with me, it helped me to tell others about God. And it also affected me in the area of my work, my marriage, and my role as a father in the house. Because whatever I do, my children look at me and watch me. And if I pray, they pray with me. So, plus or minus, being a Christian, I mean, I'm affected by God in so many ways. Yeah, so uh, going forward as a Christian, uh, what can you do to salvage yourself from this uh, Achillean task or challenges? Now, myself, I can't do anything without Him. Because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And in fact, uh, having seen what God has done for me, I want to reach the masses through evangelism. And also, let those who don't know Christ come to Christ. Yeah, talking about uh, evangelism, it's one of the things that a uh, Christian today, we do not uh, have value on it. How, how, what are the things you think we can do to, to bring many into the kingdom? Yeah, we can do a lot. Uh, in our working places, our colleagues at school, we can talk to them about Christ. And nowadays, that the social media is on one page. We can create Facebook sites where we advertise Christ. We can record uh, our church services and preaches and individual preaches and post them onto YouTube. And it will reach the millions of people every single second. This is one of the means that we can reach people out there. Another way is to go out on the streets to evangelize. But because of where we are, for instance, here in Antwerp, it's not easy to get what they call Fergunim or permission to uh, preach about Christ. Uh, you can sit in your own house with your mobile telephone, with your video, you can preach to the camera and then post it out there. Within a string of a second, millions of people will hear about Christ. So I urge every Christian who have been saved by Christ not to be selfish and use this medium to reach the mass and tell people about Christ. That is uh, our dearest uh, elder, Angie. That is God TV. You are live from Angio uh, PI Christmas Convention. And then going forward, uh, I was being prompted by your wife. I said, You dance a lot in church. Yeah, what motivates you to dance so much? Now, uh, when it comes to dance, my role model is David. David could dance so much when he was bringing the ark of God to Jerusalem that when her, his own wife spoke against it, God punished Micah for speaking against David dancing to glorify him. So when it comes to dancing, I dance to glorify God, but there's no way I can pay him for what he has done for me. But the Bible says, come before him with singing and dancing. So it's actually it's a command. Come before him with singing and dancing. So if I come to God and I can't come before him in dancing, I have not completed the task. Secondly, when I dance, I shame the devil. The more steps I take in my dancing, the more steps I step on him. And then he feels nothing under my feet. And the more I rejoice in God, Satan feels powerless. That's one of my secrets in dancing in church. Yeah, surely and truly, that is, uh, you get this one from our dear and Andrew. Andrew Danstology. I always call him Andrew Danstology. He danced so much and so well. And going forward, we are heading towards the end of the year. Um, what are the things you think you want to do uh, next year 
provisions, your plans for your entire life, your Christian life, your family, your church, all the things that you want to do. Now, there are many and numerous. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, of course, yeah. I, I will stick to a few. Yeah. Uh, my calling is to is to evangelize. Yeah. Almost everybody I come in contact with, I want the person to know Christ. Yeah. So this year, I want to print about 10,000 uh, trucks yeah. or visit cars to give to people. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's that's one of so my much. Well, it's a blessing. Amen. Secondly, I want to also uh, uh, take up videos uh, at least once or twice in a month yeah. and post them on the YouTube and the Facebook channel wow. for people to know about uh, Christ and His coming and also the Kingdom of God. Thirdly, I want also to be a role model for uh, people who look to me as a mentor that I have to live a disciplinary life for my children most especially that they have to see me as a father in the Lord. So my prayer life, my reading of the scriptures, they see me doing them so that they also grow in the same line. And lastly, uh, the church that I'm in, I, have to, I, have to, I want to be more committed than ever before. I want to also um, share with my church what our God has gifted me with. These are some of the things I want to do. Yeah, before you go, uh, cherish uh, your life. Uh, uh, at uh, God TV, and I want to ask you this question: uh, Can you talk about uh, youth and technology? Youth and technology. Now, the youth of this day, they are, uh, they are, they have been raised. But back in my time, the TV we had was a black and white TV, a very small box. So we couldn't see this like now. So nowadays, that that technology has abound. The youth shouldn't be sway away into the negative part of it because they have been, the Dutch people say, some growth is They have been opened into many, many ways and channels with both minus and plus, positive and negative. And as a Christian, I always urge them to use their technology to expand the kingdom of God, first of all. Secondly, is use their technology to help them in their education. Because when you are going to do a survey or uh, a project, Nowadays, you can get the internet, get certain things done very fast. Yeah. So the youth of these days can use the technology to help themselves in their study. And also when it comes to the Word of God, they can even do much more. So I will advise them not to stick to the social media, the WhatsApps and the YouTubes and the Facebook too. I mean, to do things that will not build them up. Everything the Bible says we have permission to do it, but it's not everything that's expedient to come to us. So they should look at the positive side of it and always go for it. Yeah, that is uh, a bit from our other Andrew. And then, um, what can you say to your loving viewers and loved ones as we in the Christmas festive? What are your wishes to your families and members? First of all, my dear wife Grace, I wish you a very, very happy Christmas. My mom, brothers and sisters back in Ghana, I wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. My children in the UK and also here. I always tell you that that is the best Christmas gift you could ever have. May God bless all of you in this coming festive days. And my church members, my beside me, my fellow elders, I say that may God give you a Christmas dream. Christmas dream, I mean, may God reveal Himself unto you. And the purpose for His coming in this era that we are celebrating. And I say that even the new year is not ahead, but I wish you a very prosperous and a good health. Yeah, that is uh, the Andrew wishing uh, the family a very best of uh, life in coming so uh, yeah this is Go TV we are live from Antiopia Christmas convention we are ending and drawing the curtains down but before I go I also wish uh, my lovely wife Jennifer and I love and my son in Bristol Atimedia Jesse and then I also thank and appreciate our crew members, our production team, uh, Edda Andrew, uh, Edda Ubri, Felix, uh, Sister Naleya, and all who helped uh, in, in putting this program to a successful end. God richly bless you, and until we meet uh, for another episode, keep hope alive and enjoy the Christmas festive. Bye!